What's up guys? How we doing? Um, this is Thrash Potato Fat Potatoes once again. Welcome to the shack. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by for a moment. Um, today we're going to do another little review, another little uh, another little look at one of these uh, uh, simulated amps. Um, probably, in my personal opinion, I think they're all pretty great, you know, but this one is kind of like near and dear to my heart because back when I was a little bit of a troublemaker, uh, my pop sat me down and he's like, look stupid. Here's a computer, here's some video games, here's a cable, and here's this thing called Amplitude. And I believe this was like the original, original Amplitude. And it was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. It blew my mind. You know, so he sat me in front of like like my mom's laptop and he's like, here, just mess with it. You know, I had the old, uh, old Jackson Dinky and I was just sitting there fiddling around. And man, was it amazing. It blew my mind. It changed my world. I thought it was freaking awesome. And um, I didn't get to play with it much after that. Um, other things were going on. I had to, you know, reestablish a thing here, here and there. But once I got back into, you know, music heavy, I had to revisit this thing. And um, now we are currently on Amplitude 5. So that's what we're looking at today. So uh, grab yourself a seat, strap in. Um, hopefully it ain't too loud. I ain't trying to blow off the doors, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to show... A couple different um, amp modules, I guess you could say. This one has a really cool. It's more of the mainstream one, so we got some Dimebag Daryl effects. We've got some, we've got some Brian May effects. We've got some Steve Vai effects, some Joe Satriani type stuff. Slash, I'm gonna try to talk less and jam more, and this is gonna be more of just, I guess, a demonstration so that we can um, check out what these sound like. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it short. Every time I say that, it ends up being 20, 30 minutes, but. Uh, Let's jump into it. Let's dive in and see how it is, man. All right. All right, guys. Now we're in the program. Uh, this is just going to be like a multi-part quick uh, little jam demo on on the effects on this thing. I can't cover I can't cover this bad mofo in just one video. It's just not happening. But I do want to do like a quick demo of each sound. So we're just going to run along and like check a sound. Go to the next one. Check a sound. Go to the next one. Check a, check a, check a sound. Go to the next one. So um, we're starting off on Amplitude Collections, just because it's like my all-time number one go-to spot. Um, so what we'll do is, for example, we'll hit the collections, and now we have Brian May's um, awesome, awesome sounds. And we'll, for example, we will do uh, we'll do some Killer Queen, right? You know, see what he has set up for that. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> So let's see what it sounds like real quick. Pretty awesome actually. I like that. Alright, what's next in line? Oh, uh, we know what's next in line. Um, I'm gonna get it out the way because I use it so so much. We're gonna go to Dimes Live Distortion. Um, of course I should be using a more dime appropriate axe, but um, I wanted to do the cheaper Harley Penton. Not cheaper but less expensive, just so that you can see that with a sixteen dollar USB speaker, a laptop, and a guitar that costs two hundred bucks, you can still get a killer sound. That's how awesome this thing is. Um, so let's hear what a uh, dime's uh, live distortion sounds like. Sorry. So tasty, you know what I mean? 
anyways, yeah, it sounds pretty, pretty right on, you know, I just want to freaking, yeah, anyways, alright, let's go to the next one in line, we're just going to do quick little sound samples, I guess you could say, which is going to be Fender, numero uno, um, Fender's not really my go-to as far as amp goes, um, but that's only because I don't have a lot of experience with Fender amps. Fender amps are pretty amazing, especially when you get into the uh, the higher end ones, kind of like they got grunge. Want to hear what grunge sounds like? Let's check it out quick. <laughs> pretty cool sounds all right um yeah it sounds uh you know what do we got like 57 deluxe going off right here um yeah i really i actually really dig the way this one sounds you want to hit uh, nail some like some nirvana stuff right there it is you know all right let's go down to the next one which is a fender 2 and um you know uh like i said fender's not my go-to but that doesn't mean you're not going to get like a super super awesome sound you know Let's see, this says Lenny, so I'm almost assuming this is going to be some Stevie Ray type stuff. Let's see. <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know, and, and you can't beat it. favorites and I'm not um I'm not even gonna attempt to try to sound as good as the dude that's gonna take me another 40 50 years but if I want to get some of his tone here it is right here I think it's amazing all right let's jump down to the next one what are we gonna try out right now these are just little sound tests um what do we got here a full tone huh let's see um if anybody comes across this and actually like like sits down and listens to these if there's any one of these like you want to hear to be like, oh, let me hear what that sounds like real quick. You know, I'll, I'll pop it on for you on the next one. Um, this one's probably going to be like a 28-part freaking video here uh, series because there is so many, so many effects that you can just check out on this thing. It's it's mind blowing. All right, let's just do a OCD shred. See what that sounds like. Ooh. sounds like it sounds like if like a more mainstreamy type of band wanted to throw some like uh wanted to throw some like um a little bit of distortion on this thing like if you were doing one of these things if you were just like if you're just like uh But it sounds like you can also get a good shred out of it. Yeah, it still sounds great. 
great, you know, like I said, it's just uh, uh, a little more mild than my taste usually is. Oh, come on now. The next one had to be Jimi Hendrix, you know what I mean? Probably some of the coolest sounds you're probably going to get right here. What do we got? Blue Chow? Oh. oh, shoot. Did I just lose my mouse? I just lost my mouse. Sorry, fellas. I'm back at it. All right, check this out. Voodoo Child. This is what Jimi Hendrix's uh, sound is about. Let's see. Let's see. Jimi really was revolutionary. I mean, come on, that sounds amazing. Let's see here. for this video Joe Satrani um discography oh you can get just his general sound I'm gonna go to just general sound because you know I'm definitely not at the level to be doing some Satrani stuff we're just gonna get the sound of it um that's what you know that's what these are anyways these are just you know for like you know the average schmoes like me that just want to jam and sound cool um so we're gonna go to his lead wall just to goof around a little bit you know? He gets a second chance because it's it's like a wide open wall and that's um, yeah let's just do his in general uh, metal tone you know. <laughs> Sounds like a very educated tone, you know. Like with me, I just crank crank everything to eleven. It sounds like uh, Mr. Satrani here t uh, took his time and got like a nice refined sound here. So it still reminds me of like a. Which basically is Satrani, except with a bust ton of talent and. Um, sophistication you know let's see what his like soloing type stuff would sound like good I like it I like it um one of the reasons I'm doing this throwing this vid up too is because a lot of these sounds I have like a certain a certain uh, uh you know presets or my own that I made that I'll go to and I haven't really explored any so as much as I would like to so I figured you know we'll explore them together you know so um let's go down to the next one that was Mr. Uh, Satrani now let's go to um Leslie let's see what do we got here Guitar Heaven. Uh, let's just pick a random one because I'm clueless on this one. Still vintage. We're still vintage. It still sounds cool too. Oh, you remember when plugs used to look like that? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. I don't know what era this thing's supposed to be in, but that's pretty cool. Very warm. It's totally like like tube based, you know.
if I haven't said it before, we're leaving all the settings alone. We're just checking it out, dude. Just checking it out. Sounds pretty cool. Alright, let's check out the next one. The next one is a Mesa Boogie. Get out of here. No way, Mesa Boogie? Um, well, I mean, I should have known that already if I would have been exploring this this app, you know. Um, let's look at the Mark II Fusion strumming. No. Let's look at the... Uh, let's look at the... Um, dual Rectifier. See what we got on that. <laughs> Check out the next one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do oh, amplitude metal. Let's see. Out of so many of these, this is why this is gonna be part one of a million because there's just so many of these to go through. You know, I'm gonna um, stay away from. I see that they have like a slip, not one. I see they have like this and that. I'm gonna stay away from those real quick. I'm just gonna hit like 80s. Let's see if it's real. <laughs> Check out my crappy guitar skills and all that. We're here to check out the sound, so let me move on real quick. Um, just a couple more left. We got Amplitude Orange. Um, I haven't got to mess with Orange a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a random. We'll just pick a, you know, Crunch. A British Crunch. <laughs> Chunky, very toasty. I like that. Let's do a uh, uh, some. Just, I don't know. Thank you. 
I think I think that's pretty pretty awesome. You know, like I said, I've never even tried that one before. That's that's sweet. All right, let's check out the next one. We're just gonna run through. We're gonna do some slash. Uh, man, it's been like freaking 98 since I even played anything from Slash. Um, I'm gonna have to relearn all kinds of stuff, but we'll just go ahead and just check out one of the solo sounds and see how it sounds. Well, can you imagine that with the freaking talk box? Oh my god, that's freaking like on point. Slash slash, that's freaking awesome. All right, now it looks like we're just gonna pick a random. Hmm, it's a little quiet, a little cheesy. Not cheesy, but you know. I guess this is more made to like you build up your own your own um, collection just use the amp I guess sounds kind of quiet kinda. good bass though I like it all right I think this is gonna be the last one and we're gonna wrap it up um it's just uh, part two to the first thing we'll just grab a quick one certain real quick one let me see Oh yeah, see, you can totally, totally build the sound off of these. Hold on. Do you guys hear that? Sounds pretty cool. I like it. All right. So, okay, since that's the last one down the list on that one, um, that's what I'm going to do for part one. Um, I think uh, the next round I'm going to go ahead and let me see. I don't know. I'm either going to just pick uh, different random ones, but that's just kind of too random. I think from there we're just going to go to uh, Amplitude 5 and then run it down because there's just, you know, I mean, you got neck pickup. You know, for example, I'm not going to give it away because I'm going to put it in the next vid. Oh, 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 hold on. I might have to give this one away. Hold up. That sounded freaking killer. Freaking awesome. 
All right, y'all. Hey, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, we're just testing out the sounds. That's all this is. This isn't, you know, it was going to be a review, but then I was like, you know what? There's just so much to review. I can't do it in one part. So I was like, you know what? Let's just check out the sounds. We're just going to check out the sounds. We're going to run by it, and it's just going to be a quick little sample of each sound that you can get. Um, uh, again, this is part one. I'll see you for part two, hopefully. Hopefully you even made it this far so that you can, um, so that you can, um, hear this outro. Anyways, um, we'll see you probably tomorrow because this is so fun that, um, I'm gonna do it again. Sorry I'm not, like, jumping and peppy and more, you know, um, uh, ADD than I usually am, or less ADD than I usually am, but I'm pretty tired. It's pretty late. I just wanted to throw a vid on because, um, I love jamming and I get done practicing and when I'm done for our usually it's before practice which is a big mistake <clears throat> I'll make the video and then um, then practice which I really should practice first and then make the video but anyways so um, thank you again we'll see you next round and like I said uh, tomorrow we're gonna check out even more sounds that you can get and this is definitely gonna be one of them I should have popped on this one first cause, but you know I wanted to go to the collections you know in time sound you know freaking Joe Satriani's etc etc you know so um we'll see you tomorrow probably or the next video and um we'll check out some more sounds from Amplitude alright take it easy